and of course wavetable is uh, much easier but uh, it's gonna have uh, a um, some, some drawback like introducing aliasing and we'll see that in the in the project so these are the components that I used of course the uh, Tinsley Duino the audio shield that Paul made uh, the screen TFT screen uh, the breakout that Paul made for the TF screen, TFT screen, and this is a breakout that I did for the MIDI. And uh, this is what uh, the uh, the synth looks like. And uh, everything I put everything in the box. And there are basically three part portions. One is the the waveform that I select. I have a 2056 uh, waveforms uh, selection. Uh, there are 16 banks of 16 waves. And then uh, I have the FFT uh, portion that is a live FFT. I do this by capturing the queue, uh, the buffer in the queue in the audio library for Tinsley Duino. And on the right side, I do have some information about bank wave and the note on LED that is the yellow light that shows up when I uh, press the button. So this is what it sounds like. So far I have um, uh, the selection of the, of the waveform. It's based on this one. I implemented a filter cutoff and resonance. These two uh, pots are available. Uh, I also implemented this band uh, two, half step, two half steps above and two half steps uh, below. And I have the envelope generator that I completed today. There are other few things that I would populate here. I was thinking about building an LFO. I will add it here. I have pots for chorus and delay, so other, other things. And then I have four additional parameters that I can vary later. So this is what it sounds like. Of course, it starts with the regular sine wave, but as you scan through the different, uh, so now I'm varying the filter, the frequency of the filter. So I keep uh, changing the the sounds. It's more like a saw way. FFT now let's see if I can uh, show how it changes because it has a lot of uh, our harmonics so you can see I lowered the volume because it gets annoying but you can see that the filter is working properly this is the resonance it shows a little bit there you go so I can change in real time I see the FFT in real time by moving the cutoff frequency what I don't have I don't have a trigger function yet to, to stop the waveform in the oscilloscope but I will implement that later. And uh, this is like there's no system, there's not all the envelope generator is working. There's nothing here. Increase the sustain. Slow attack. And some release here. Interesting. It's nice and bouncy. Of course, the aliasing happens with the um, uh, wavetable. So if I look at uh, some of the like something like this, there's a very rich uh, spectrum, and I start with a lower note, 
as the note goes up, I can see something happening. You can see a piece of the spectrum that comes back in at the lower frequency. So this is pretty clean. But if that goes up, the higher side of the spectrum comes back in and produce a metallic sound. So this is an artifact uh, due to the wavetable. The way to remove this is to produce a different um, uh, table for the higher notes where I band limit uh, that, uh, that table to avoid the aliasing. And that's something that I might do next. Um, any questions, let me know.